Alright guys, so today I'm going to show you how to put a wood finish on your piece of wood. Um, and we're primarily going to go through standing today and um, it's a stand clear cut mixture together. And it's going to be waxed at the end as well. This is a lengthy process so make sure you follow all the necessary steps. Also, make sure that you have a couple of different safety items on. Safety glasses must be worn at all times so this stuff doesn't get in your eyes. Um, it's also really suggested that you have an apron. Aprons are kept over here before you get into the finish room itself. This stuff gets on your clothes, it does not come off whatsoever. It's also a good idea to have a pair of gloves. Gloves are also stored inside the finish room. Before you enter the finish room, if this stuff is not already turned on, turn the light switch on, which is over here. And on the ventilation switch, so we have air circulation. You also need to grab yourself a pair of gloves and put those on because you don't want to have stain on your hands because it doesn't come off easily. Underneath the table, grab yourself a pair of nails and place your project on top. You never want to have it touching the table itself because the dirt's going to get on your project. Next would be choose your stain of choice. So you can see each of the colors. There's darker, there's lighter, there's ones that are more red, ones that are darker. Um, you can only choose one. You cannot mix multiple together, so choose one. From the rag container, grab yourself, you need two of these rags. Make sure when you get them, you shake the fuzzies off of them. You don't want the fuzzies getting all over your project. Make sure you grab two and shake them out. Grab yourself a paper towel. Next up, we're now ready to apply our stain clear coat mixture onto our project. We're going to be doing a total of two coats all together. So one coat, we got to let it dry for a day and then a second coat. We're going to pop the top open. As soon as you open up your stain container, it's also a good idea to grab a mixing stick and mix around the contents inside because sometimes when this is sitting for like a brief period of time, stain and clear coat inside like it'll separate. We want to make sure that's nice and mixed together, so mix that for a few seconds. Make sure when you're done that you take your mixing stick, wipe it off with a paper towel, because we can reuse these over and over again. You want to take a rag and fold it up, and then dip it into the stain. Only coat about half of it, like about that. Take your stain, wipe it on your project. It doesn't have to be pretty, just wipe it down. Make sure you coat the whole entire thing. And once you got your project entirely coated, take your clean rag and wipe all the excess off. You don't want to have any blotchiness, it should be a nice even color and even coat. So wipe it off with your clean rag, so it looks like this. Then you place it on a shelf and it has to dry for a complete day. Take your gloves and all of your used materials, including the paper towel, throw them in the fireproof trash can and get the next day. After your project dries for a day, grab yourself some 220 sandpaper from the container and you want to very lightly sand your whole project. Very lightly sand it. All we're doing is getting all the bumps and all the imperfections out of it. If it sands too hard, especially on the corners or some of the spots um, with your project, you're going to sand completely through your clear coat and your finished layer. Very lightly sand the whole thing until when you run your hand across it, it's smooth. Now we're gonna go through the process once more, putting a second coat of finish on our project. Shelf once more, it has to dry for a complete day before you can mess around with it, do anything with it. The last thing you want to do for your project is apply wax. It's a clear protective finish um, and just helps repair, repel dirt, debris, and any moisture just to preserve and make it last longer. Keep all the wax supplies inside the purple container. I'm going to take you through the process of how to apply wax. First, we want to pop the cap open. You got to get your fingernails underneath this outside ridge. Next thing you want to do is take one of these application rags, get folded up, 
You want to get yourself a decent amount of wax coated on your piece of a cloth here. Then take your rag and smear the wax all over your project. It's gonna feel slimy and greasy. So wipe your whole project down, all sides, with the wax. After that's done, last step you need to do is you take a clean, light buffing rag and just wipe all that excess off. And you want to remove all of it just so it's nice and evenly coated. Just be careful, just a quick reminder that you're not laying this down your project piece directly on a table because as you can see, all this stuff could get all over your project, that wouldn't be good. If you're not handling your project, put it on the board with nails. So make sure when you're done, you clean your stuff up. Board with nails goes underneath the um, table in the box. Application rags go back inside. Top goes back on the um, container of wax, snap it shut. Container of wax goes inside the purple bucket. Finally, the purple bucket goes right on the shelving unit. Make sure when you're completely done, you put all of your stuff away and clean things up before you leave.